Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we will do another top list video. If you have missed our previous one, be sure to check them out. Link will be available in the description box below. Also, consider supporting us by sending any amount to our PayPal account in order for us to be able to keep doing this for you guys. More information about that is also available in the description box below. Don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe to the channel. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 10. Jalal Talabani The Kurdish people have the right of self-determination like every other nation in the world. Jalal Talabani, one of modern times most well-known Kurdish politician, passed away in October 2017. Throughout the years, he's been quoted for many iconic sayings. Not at least when he, during the 1992 Kirkuk speech called Kirkuk, Kurdistan's Jerusalem. This quotation, the Kurdish people have the right of self-determination like every other nation in the world, will take its spot on the number 10 in our list. Number 9, Qazi Muhammad, I am proud of my execution, even at that moment when my body is hanging from the rope, my shoes are higher above than my enemy's head. Qazi Muhammad is until this day a legendary leader of the Kurds. He was the leader of the famous Kurdistan Republic in 1945, also known as the Republic of Mahabad. However, the Republic only lasted for a year, when Soviet Union suddenly stopped their support and Iran could retake the area that Qazi Muhammad had claimed. As a result, the great Kurdish leader was executed by hanging. A few hours before the execution, it is claimed that Qazi Muhammad insulted his enemies by saying, I am proud of my execution, even at that moment when my body is hanging from the rope, my shoes are higher above than my enemy's head. Number 8. Abdullah Öcalan We reached the point where weapons should go silent and ideas should speak. Abdullah Öcalan has been imprisoned in Turkey since 1999. The Kurdish PKK founder and leader led his PKK organization into a civil war with Turkey since 1984. However, in the 90s, Öcalan tried to find verbal solutions, not at least when close meetings with the Turkish president Turgut Özal was being prepared. One of the statements that Öcalan did was to claim the importance of putting down weapons and start discussing with each other. We reached a point where weapons should go silent and ideas should speak. Number 7. Mustafa Barzani If you can't serve your nation, at least do not betray it. Just like Qazi Muhammad, Mustafa Barzani was highly involved in the Kurdistan Republic. However, Barzani got away from the Iranian regime and fled to Soviet Union with parts of his Peshmerga army. Later on, Barzani continued his struggle against the Iraqi government and in modern time, the younger son, Mas'ud Barzani, became the president of KRG. In June 2019, Mas'ud's nephew Nashirvan Barzani was elected as the next president of Southern Kurdistan. Among the grandfather Mustafa Barzani's many quotes, we have, if you can't serve your nation, at least do not betray it. Number 6. Nelson Mandela If you really want to know about the Turkish government, try being a Kurd for an hour. Nelson Mandela is our first on the list who isn't of Kurdish ethnicity. But Mandela is well known across the globe as a fighter for freedom and democracy. Also, once he was known by the global community as a terrorist due to his struggle against apartheid. The situation of Mandela is very much alike the Kurdish one, and Mandela himself has several times been compared to the Kurdish PKK leader Abdullah Öcalan. His love for the Kurdish struggle is well known, not at least when photos of the Kurdish flag at his home were revealed on the internet. In the 19th, Mandela also talked in a long speech for the Kurdish people in Germany, demanding improvements of Kurdish rights from the Turkish government. One of his many quotes about the Kurds and their situation is, 
if you really want to know about the Turkish government, try being a Kurd for an hour. Number 5. Abdullah Öcalan, a society can never be free without women's liberation. Back again at Abdullah Öcalan, so no introduction is needed this time. To add on, Öcalan has today evolved into becoming a feministic symbol for the Kurds, and his ideology advocates feminism and equality. The Rojava society is the most practical example of how Öcalan's ideology would look when putting it into work. This quote is one of many feministic expressions made by Öcalan, without doubt one of his most famous ones. A society can never be free without women's liberation. Number 4. Leila Zana Kurds are like fire. If approached kindly, they will warm you. If approached badly, they will burn you. Leila Zana is one of the most famous Kurdish women. She was highlighted in the 90s when she was sentenced to 15 years in prison for speaking Kurdish in the Turkish parliament while wearing a hairband with the Kurdish colors. She was eventually released after 10 years and after that kept fighting for the Kurdish question. The quotation by Zana is meant to highlight the two sides of the Kurds where love and good treatment is answered by peace from the Kurds and oppression and bad treatment is answered with war and refusal to accept anything else but full human rights. Kurds are like fire. If approached kindly, they will warm you. If approached badly, they will burn you. Number 3. Nelson Mandela I am part of the Kurdish struggle, I am one of you. Back to Mandela again, we will start by re-mentioning his speech in Germany in the 90s. The greatness behind this quote was the fact that Nelson Mandela really didn't have any connection with the Kurdish struggle, but still had such a passion for it. It is for this reason that I am not your visitor, I am not your guest. If you want to see the full video of the speech, we will provide a link in the description box below alongside our documentary where we compare the differences between Mandela and Öcalan. I am part of the Kurdish struggle, I am one of you. Number 2. Qazi Muhammad If a Persian gives you honey, there is poison in it for sure. Let us start by saying that this quotation is not to be taken literally. The quote is not to be interpreted with the fact that every Persian is bad. On the contrary, the Persian term is only mentioned as the Persian term because of Qazi Muhammad's active struggle in the Iranian-occupied Kurdistan. However, one can easily change it for Arab or Turk. Now, the meaning of this quote is not that every Persian is bad. The meaning is simply that Kurds always should be suspicious when an enemy offers you something good, which clearly always been true in the Kurdish history. If a Persian gives you honey, there is poison in it, for sure. Number 1 and our top quote on the list comes from Kurdish folklore, No friends but the mountains. This quote has been in Kurdish sayings for a very long time so long that it is impossible to say who first came up with it. The quote is probably older than the term Kurd and has been with us all the way to the first Kurdish settlements in the Zagros mountain. However, in modern time, Mustafa Barzani was the first known official who spoke of the term regularly, which has created the false assumption that Barzani is the founder of the quotation. But the saying, no friends but the mountain, is older than any Kurdish clan today. No friends but the mountains. Do you agree with our top 10 picks? Have we forgotten any? Or do you want to change the order? Let us know in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel in order to help us grow. Until next time.